Hi guys, welcome to your October 2021. This is going to be the What Aren't They Telling You Timeless Reading bonus first half of the beautiful sign of, drum roll please, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. If you're new here with me, hello, hello. If you are returning, welcome back. If you're subscribed to the Tribe and what's good, fam, bam, so hello to my members, my patrons, and my Coffee Club members. Um, I want to thank you for coming back. If you are returning, let's go ahead and pay a few bills, and then we're going to jump right into your message, okay? Everything that you need is below in the description box right now, okay? Now, um, if you're interested in the coldest water bottle, everything is below in the description box. You can go over there and pick out, this is the color that I have. This is the 32 ounce water bottle. Sport, there is a difference. When you go over there, if you're interested in giving it a whirl, which I hope you are, um, go ahead and put readings in the checkout, which is going to entitle you to 10% off of your purchase. If you're interested in not necessarily trying it out, but you want to enter in the giveaway, you can do that too through my link that's also below. Weekly giveaways is what they do, Scorpio, for you and your collective, if you want to go ahead and do that. The coffee cups may be a better option for you since it's going to start getting cold where you are. So either way, go ahead and check that out. The second thing that we have going on right now is the text, the question. Everything that you need below is in the description box as well as that is concerned as well. Keep in mind, guys, do not send any money through donation, through PayPal, through Venmo, through any of my payment channels for the text questions. You must register on the app, okay? You're going to get, whenever you send me a text message, you're going to get a primary message that has a link that has you to go and register. Once you register and you are a part of that, because remember the value in that is, is that once I have your information, now we can check. But that does, that helps me because I know you're real and that helps you. So you know that I'm real. <laughs> So we want to make sure that we do that correctly. If you send me any cash through cash app or any way, unfortunately, I have to send it back. If you have been shopping with me or been dealing with me for a while, you know, I do not take any unsolicited anything unless it is in the form of a donation. I don't run my business that way. So please keep in mind as much as I would love to take your money, guys, I'm, I'm honest and my dealings do not send me anything without a booked appointment unless it is specifically marked as a donation if you you can't just send something and be like this is for my tax question no honey it has to go through there because you can pay and do everything right through there so if you're paying with cash then use the card simple so um i would love to do that the questions are 11 11 for one question there is a new subscription on there if you choose to pay one low fee a month you can get two questions answered every month for you but if you're interested in traditional tarot services that information is below too. Appointments are open and we're ready to rock and roll. Okay, there we go. I believe that everything else you need, Scorpio. Let's see. We have to bring your collective up to speed. Uh, Messy Mondays was voted for. We did not go live um, for Messy Mondays this past Monday because I did experience a power outage here. Um, so with that being said, what we're going to do is reschedule that. I did get a happy birthday text. It is not my birthday. It is my daughter's birthday. I am a cancer son. My birthday has passed. But thank you for the well wishes for a baby girl. The baby brat is what I call her. Um, and her birthday will be on Monday. So depending on what when my festivities end will determine whether I'm going to go live that night. And if I do not, then I know you guys understand. So it must be a reason why we're getting um, interrupted. So thank you so much for your patience. And if all else fails, we will definitely be back the, pri the, the Monday after that to go live and do our messy session and vote on the next one. So I think that's all you need. Let's get into this. Where are we? Thank you for allowing me that four minutes to bring you up to speed with the the going zones of the um, the marvelous tribe and what we got going on over here. Okay, Scorpio. So we're gonna be taking a look at the first half of the your the romantic energy between you and your person. I've already gotten some cards. I've been shuffling this entire time. I'm already telling you that 
Um, your person is definitely trying to give the relationship a chance and stick with you. At the end of the day, this person is coming through and having a tremendous amount of love for you and wanting to stay in this relationship with you. Um, and this is what I see. It's been difficult to do that um, because they're, they, they have, oh, that has been such a popular card. Um, they have some things that's going on with them. And um, I think that right now they're realizing that maybe they're putting too much time in you. Now, it's been a lot of cathartic type of energy across the zodiacs. And it's like everybody is trying to be their own psychiatrist. And that's a good thing. Um, your person is definitely understanding that maybe they have some things. And this was very uh, much so like the Aries reading. So I don't know whether some of you guys have Aries and you're, um, in, in, uh, you're crossing with Aries or maybe you're just being guided to kind of move in an Aries-like way or take action on something since the ruling planet for Aries is Mars. But I will tell you, this person, I'm going to go through their energy first, guys. And then, of course, I pick two cards for you. But I'm going to be talking while I'm picking it up because there's so much. They're trying to love on themselves first. They're trying to bring pull their energy back and just focus on them. When they go back through all of the um, the relationship history that you guys have, Scorpio, they're feeling like maybe I didn't take care of myself enough. Maybe it was something that I didn't do for, you know, myself enough. Maybe because of it hasn't been working the way that I wanted to work. Or maybe because it is not going the way that my vision for it has, I want it, you know, it, it's not going that way. Maybe this is a sign from divine or whomever they pray to that I need to take a step back and really deal with this a certain type of way. Maybe that certain type of way is pulling my energy back and focusing on me. This is chemistry. There is a strong magnetic attraction. Absolutely. Absolutely. There's been a lot of love that has been expressed from this person about how they are addicted to you, Scorpio. Um, um, you are definitely on their mind. You're ruling my mind. Mm -hmm. They can't get enough. I don't know why that song has been popping up in my head. I can't get enough of you. Oh, my God. They, I'm telling you, they can't. They can't get enough of you. And then we do have heart to heart conversations. They want to honestly discuss their feelings with you. But this card is about you guys talking, not just them talking to you. It's a heart to heart conversation. You guys are being guided to honestly discuss your feelings with each other. And let me tell you some of the things that you are going to hear in this conversation um, that they're going to be having with you is that they really, as much as they have this chemistry and they're attracted to you like flies to you know what, but maybe they are trying too hard, pushing too hard. They're looking at it from a standpoint of maybe I'm just doing too much. Maybe I'm pushing and the more I push, the more you pull back. And they're really starting to reevaluate re that. They really want to give this relationship a chance and work on this partnership, Scorpio. Again, they're trying very hard to stay put. The option is not leaving. The option is just bringing their energy back because they're feeling like, well, I'm not getting anywhere. Um, a lot of people are reevaluating things right now. And I can't get mad at them because this is what they're doing. Past life relationship. They do feel like that this is a past life relationship. You guys have known each other before. And despite this feeling of familiarity with you and this love that they have for you, um, they still are confused right now, Scorpio, on separating what they actually feel and whether it's conducive for future. Like they can love the hell out of you. But if this relationship is not going anywhere and you unfortunately do have people that want to know where it's going, there's nothing wrong with that. You're one of them, Scorpio. You're fixed water. But um, you know, they, I feel like you may be connecting with water too, because they are a prisoner of this connection. Like this connection is everything. If it reminds me of beaches, when the two friendship, when the friendship broke up between CC and Hill, Hillary, and what CC said when Hillary came back, she just was like, you know, that relationship meant more to me than anything. And it, it gave her something to look forward to. 
that's how this person feels. It's not just about the superficiality of things. It's the connection itself. And, you know, it is safe for you to love. So this is another guide from the universe for the both of you. Sorry. They're being guided. Nobody talking to you, Siri. And again, I keep saying, I don't know how he turned into a man on my watch. <laughs> anyway, it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. I do feel like that is one of the cards that's telling both of you guys to do that. But more importantly, you know, they want to do that. They really want to open their heart. But when they sit down and have a talk with you, they're having some reservations because they really don't know what it looks like for you. Um, and they do have a lot of things that they're dealing with. Um, love, life, uh, benefits as you forgive your parents. Doesn't necessarily have to be the narrative, but they're healing family issues. They can have individual issues going on around them right now. They got some stuff either within them. This is either spiritually, you know, things that happen that they need to purge out. Sometimes I get the messages clearer than I do in this particular one. I, I really feel like it's more physical. Um, there could be some things with their mom. There could be some things with living arrangements. There can be a lot that they're, that's going on with them right now. And again, there's nothing wrong with that. And then um, this is the main thing that I think they're trying to pour their energy to um, or their heart in. And, th and this is themselves. To a certain extent, I think they're starting to realize that the way that they love you is a little unhealthy. Um, and I'm not trying to like put no like stuff in your ear on some stalker stuff, but they really are starting to look at the way that they care for you. And they're like, you know, my self-respect makes me more romantically attractive. I need to respect myself and I need to pull myself out of this. I need to stop tripping. Like, and sometimes it's not what you think. I need to pull myself out of this. I've allowed myself to deal with some things that maybe I'm not proud of um, for this connection. And I see that it didn't give me anything, but it leaves me feeling more empty than I was when I started. Is that worth it? And that is exactly what they're dealing with right now. And that's exactly it. That's a good thing. Okay. Let's find out how you feel about this. So they want to work on this, but they have some things that they want to discuss. You know, they, they, they kind of right now are pulling their energy back. Um, and they want to make sure a, as there, are they wasting their time? And B, if you even feel the same way, let's find out. Obviously you're supporting the separation, or this can just be a guide that, you know, time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So I'm going to equate that and intuit that to mean that half of you guys want to be separated from this person. And, um, the half of you, um, the other half of you, a separation is telling me what is currently going on. Let's just find out how uh, Scorpio feels. Give me something about how they feel romantically toward this person. All right. So you have pulled your energy back and it's time for you to retreat. Um, okay. So Scorpio, right now, it doesn't look like you are definitely in the mood to deal with this. Um, I don't know. You have retreated and pulled your energy back. And maybe as a result, that is exactly what this person has decided to do. I am going to go and grab that book really quick because I think that this is one of the great opportunities to read directly from the book for this retreat message because um, there is a lot of things that you're going through while you're retreating. I'll be right back. And through the magic of editing, here we are. So some of the things that you're going through, um, Scorpio, while you retreat. Um, the romance angels see that your love life blossoms as you spend time alone with your partner or by yourself. Okay, so it appears that you become confused or conflicted by others' advice. It is time for you to disconnect so you can better hear your own heart's your own feelings or opinions, okay? That's one. If you're in a partnership, spending time alone, I'm sorry, spending time together but apart. I just want to be alone together. They want to, listen, maybe you want to be alone together. <laughs> Scorpio, be alone together. Okay, I'm done. 
If you are in partnership, spending time apart from others, spending time together apart from others will renew your commitment and take it to the next level. This could mean taking a vacation. Okay, I love this. Going, I doubt it, but going out on a nature hike, enjoying a long drive or turning off phones and computers as you both enjoy a quiet afternoon at home. I doubt it. The energy doesn't sound like you guys are quiet at all. The painting on the card indicates a honeymoon, which could be a literal message. So there may be a deepening of commitment or a, a new serious relationship if you're single. The card may indicate an upcoming engagement, wedding, or renewal of vows. You could be, you'd be very surprised by the word on this. Um, and the word I see is one thing, but it just is such a loaded card. Um, and I don't think that those other meanings are even paid attention to enough. OK, these activities are more meaningful as you spend time alone with your partner. However, if you are single, this card guides you to spend a time alone by yourself, meditating upon your true feelings and thoughts. Be sure to take action based on any intuitive guidance. This strengthens your energy, which helps you rapidly attract and manifest your loving partner. So. Sometimes we separate from an individual and we're like, screw it. It's not worth it and blah, blah, blah. And the more we spend time together, the more we realize that their person was for us. <laughs> you be like, oh, this is what this was and blah, blah, blah. And what the hell? So don't be surprised if that's what ends up happening. Okay, so it's half and half. If you separated from this person, then it's all the way over. Like if you are that Scorpio where it's all the way over and you're not interested in reconciliation, then take the advice of the card. But for a good majority of you, you guys could be in separation right now and you're both retreating. They want to pull their energy back and they're taking the cue from you, Scorpio. You probably pulled your energy back. And when you did that, that made them think like, OK, obviously. This is something that I need to pay attention to as much as I want to work on this and all of these feelings that I feel, you know, if Scorpio doesn't, it's not feeling me like that. I can't force Scorpio to feel me and looky, looky, look, chemistry is being clarified by transformation and the damn Scorpio card. This is almost like a repeat exactly of that Aries energy. Are some of you guys connecting with an Aries or have Aries in your chart? Because I'm telling you, my goodness, this is endings, failures, letting go of attachments. They're trying to do that, They're want, but they're wanting to transform. And honestly, these cards mean some of the same thing. So they not only want to allow things to happen, they want to go with the ebbs and the flows of this relationship, Scorpio. Heart to heart conversation is the spirituality. So this person is very spiritual and they also think, that their crown from that they're they're honoring the divine you know we affirm they are trying to honor the divine within them listening to the wisdom of the universe open to divine wisdom i am at peace i live in the present moment they want to talk to you about this is real we may not be seeing eye to eye right now and we are separated but my divine god my you know my angels and my guides or whomever they pray to is telling me that you're for me there's something here they want to talk to you about this. They're aware. Third eye, chakra, third eye chakra. They are being told spiritually like that they need to give this a chance and work through this. I'm telling you, um, this is their awareness. So they're spiritually aware that you're the person for them. I am in touch with my inner guidance. I am wise. I am knowledgeable. I am intuitive. I trust my intuition. I am open to inspiration and bliss. I am connected to the wisdom of the universe. That's what, listen, this person is, is pulling their energy back, but they're going through an extreme, oh my goodness, empress. They want to start something new with you. Check this out. This is a past life relationship, a new opportunity of abundance, pregnancy, nurturing. They want to birth something new with this empress card, uh, clarifying past life relationship. Okay. It is safe for you to love its boundaries. Maybe they went too far, Scorpio. Maybe there has been 
Um, there has been boundaries that are either good or bad. Sometimes there are boundaries that should be broken down because how can you ascend to a higher level of commitment and you have all of these damn boundaries up to protect yourself? Then that means that you don't trust me, nor do you trust my love or our love. You shouldn't fear boundaries, but you should not be afraid of destroying them. Of course, that's a card that I would create and that's what I did. So on one hand, you know, it is okay to be, um, you know, cautious in love. But at the same time, you know, it is a tango. You know, when do we move and sway on one side versus swaying on the other side? When should we put boundaries up versus when should we destroy these boundaries at the same time? Do you understand what I'm saying? Okay, healing family issues, mistakes. Some of the most beautiful things that we have comes from our mistakes. Um, there's been some things that has happened in their life. Maybe they don't know what um, staying in a relationship is. Maybe they put too much, too many boundaries up um, and self-sabotage the relationship, Scorpio, and didn't even know what the hell they were doing. Whatever it was, it pertains and starts at the family level. They've made mistakes in the past. They've, of course, carried those mistakes with them. But they're being spiritually guided in their, um, that you are the one, that there's something to this okay we have two cards for the love of yourself first another card so they are also struggling from the throat chakra so communication is coming they affirm that they're going to be open and honest in their communication they have a right to speak their truth they live an authentic life i nourish and my creative my creativity and self-expression and I know when to listen as well as the will of fortune. I gotta get my other deck. I'm so tired of looking at my hand right written 10. Uh yes, this has since been corrected, but it doesn't make any sense to open up a whole new deck for that, right? Like why? Anyway. So this we know that anything that Jupiter touches it expands uh, it expands. This is the will of fortune. Um, and they obviously this is chances, luck, destiny, opportunity. They know that by loving themselves first and and really correcting their issues, they can be a better them for you. OK, let's go ahead and go into um, separation and the two cards for your energy. And you do have the lovers. OK, so you obviously are acknowledging that this is your person and you are at a crossroads. Ooh, you are at a crossroads because Scorpio, if you look at this, this is choices. Are you going to make the commitments? You've probably already fall, fell in love with this person. Are you going to commit? Are you going to make the commitment to this person? And, you know, you're separated from this individual and in really thinking about what you need. And remember, the lover's energy is a Gemini card. The element is air. This is all Mercury Take this time right now and revel in this Mercury retrograde because it's planted asleep. Don't make a decision about this right now. You're separated from your divine partner. You obviously are at a crossroads about whether you should commit to this person. And retreat is peace. You want peace. And you want, you want though, remember how I read this for you? If you are by yourself or if you are single, Hold on. Now I'm going to read it because that's what you want. You want some peace. You want peace to be able to make up your own mind, Scorpio. Um, remember, if you are presently single, you are being guided to spend some time alone meditating upon your true feelings and thoughts. Take action based on any intuitive guidance, which will strengthen your energy and help you rapidly attract and manifest your loving partner or attract this person back. Ow, we're done. So like, share, and subscribe to The Marvelous Tribe. We are going to definitely tear this up a little bit more in the main video, Scorpio. It is never a dull moment reading your energy. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.